Hey, Chad. Yeah, I just talked to Shelby. She's gonna help you with the history midterm. No problem. And you're sure you can get Jen to that interview, right? Okay. Great, that's awesome. Thanks. Bye. Hey, Jenna. How are you? Well, actually, yes, I did. It's at 9 o'clock Saturday at the Apple Store. <laughs> There's no need to thank me, really. But, um, yeah, yeah. But you definitely have the tickets, right? Okay, great. Yeah, yeah, I'll talk to you later. Bye. High school is a piece of cake, if you know how to work the angles. And I may not be the guy, but in my school, I'm the guy you're gonna wanna know. Need tickets to a concert or help studying for that history test? Come see me. My name is Evan Turner, and I'm more reliable than Google. I'm sorry guys, but Jenna couldn't get the tickets. What? I thought she had them already. She totally played me. Dude, she can't do that. What do you want me to do, bro? Wait a second, Connor. He's got the tickets. He's totally messing with us. <laughs> AJ is one of my best friends, and she's one of the few people who can see right through me. Connor, on the other hand, can only see what's right in front of him. It's always important to see what's right in front of you. Caramel macchiato, please. You never want to order off the menu. Really? Joe, make a primo executo. It's on me, but if you like it, you have to let me take you out. <laughs> <laughs> I never got your name. Abby. Evan. Yeah, that's sure, huh? Just try it. <laughs> You're right. It is good. So... All right. Meet me Wednesday at 6 at this address. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for the coffee. Definitely. See you Wednesday. I must have gotten something wrong. This makes absolutely no sense. Well played. Guys have done weirder things for a girl, right? I mean, what's the worst that can happen?
You doing okay there? That was not what I expected. Well, I'll be honest, I didn't expect you to actually go in. How often do you invite guys to church? How often do you play your little coffee game? You gotta give me a second. I'm still trying to wrap my head around tonight. It was like my whole life was empty and I didn't even know it. Better to know now, right? This ever happened to you? Oh yeah. There have been times when I felt like the message was exactly for me. I kept thinking that there is no way the guy up there knows that much about me. It's like he could read minds or something. <laughs> like when he said you probably think you're the center of the universe, I was like, I'm the center of my universe. <laughs> It's not the guy, it's God. He definitely knows the best way to get our attention. But how do we know it's God, and not just a bunch of coincidences? Trust me, when it comes to God, there are no coincidences. Oh, that's so hard for me. I'm gonna need to see it to believe it kind of guy. Well, I guess God knew you needed to see me in order for you to come to church. I just always try to stay in control, you know? Like, one step ahead of everybody. But I never saw this coming. You're gonna see, your life is gonna change even more. I mean, it's never gonna be the same. Can't wait. It's incredible. Have faith. You're hilarious. <laughs> I have my moments. Uh, I probably should get going. My, my friends are probably looking for me. See you next week? Yeah. It was nice meeting you. You too. So this is definitely not what I expected. What happened tonight was incredible. But how am I gonna explain this to my friends? This is by far the craziest thing you've ever done for a girl. I'm not into her like that, okay? She's like AJ. Uh, thanks, I think. You know what I mean. Listen, I'm not focusing on that, okay? This was so much bigger. And I almost believe you, but come on, Evan, it's you. You're just trying to use this as some way to get her to like you. No, dude, I'm serious. This is real. I've never felt anything like this before. Look at me. He's serious. You are like the last person in the world to fall for something like this. I know. But that's how powerful it was. It was like God was trying to get my attention. You're all about finding meaning and purpose. Just tell him what I mean. Look, I think it's I think it's great that you're, you know, finding direction and trying to change, but how do you know it's God and not just like your mind playing tricks on you or something? I don't. But Abby says that's where faith comes in. You can't explain something just to have faith. That's real convenient. Connor, don't ruin Evan's moment. He's exploring something. Thanks, AJ. Just be careful, okay? Make sure you know what you're getting yourself into. I got it. You were in a dark room. There's like yeah. 400 people all in the room with you doing the same exact thing. Yeah. And then all of a sudden a power just comes over you and you just can't explain it. Yes, that's what I'm trying to tell you. That's exactly what happens to every girl at a One Direction concert. They all start yelling in unison and have an experience. 
And that band's awful. I have to use the bathroom. Oh, oh, come on, man. We're just, we're just looking out for you. We're trying to make sure you're not brainwashed. I wish God would make it a little easier. Like, give me more than just a feeling. But it's not like he's gonna plop down some weird thing and show me what to do. People think I'm losing my mind. I'm really surprised you actually care what people think. <sighs> Clearly she doesn't understand how important a good reputation actually is. <sighs> what I'm saying is that this is some pretty heavy stuff. It gets hard to believe sometimes. You felt something happened to you, right? That's the thing. Here I do, but then I have to go back into the real world. The real world is where God works best. Church is great and exciting, but it's in between that we really see what God can do. So, what am I supposed to do? Just... talk to Him. How do I know it's Him? I've been a Christian a long time. I've seen him do some really amazing things. Things that have no explanation but him. I need some of those things. I have no clue what I'm doing. He'll show you what to do. And when he does, just trust him. I have faith you'll see how really is. All right. Thanks, Abby. Remember, God's in control, not you. Makes things a lot easier. Trust. I think I can do that. If we go any slower, I'm going to be 90 by the time we get to the cafeteria. It's mac and cheese days, and if I miss that, we're going to talk. All right, Mr. McGee. You think you can handle some speed? Punch it, Junior! Before I went to church, I would have never done any of this. And this is one of the coolest things that I've ever done. Oh, I've moved that fast as my baseball days. I feel like I'm actually helping people to help them, and not just because I can get something out of it. Abby was right. God does prove he's real. See, Mr. McGee, we made it. And we got tons of time to spare. Mm -hmm.